Hello and welcome to Cuisine Scene. This is Patrick Evans Hilton and I am in Catch 31. It's the sister restaurant to Salacia inside the Hilton at the oceanfront. And I am with the new executive chef here, although he's not new to uh, to this property, uh, Chef Kyle Woodruff. And how are you doing, Kyle? Doing great, Patrick. How are you? Great, great things. So now tell me, um, how long have you been the executive chef here? Uh, I've actually only been the executive chef here for uh, going on a month now. Yeah, um, yeah. So so it was really quick. I uh, was former the executive sous chef, uh, and then I was down in uh, left and went down to Keneal Bay Resort in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, and then unfortunately, uh, we had the uh, the hurricanes come through, uh, and it kind of uprooted me and my wife back, which was uh, you know a good thing for us. We ended up back here in Virginia Beach. Uh, and then I was able to take over the executive chef position here at the Hilton. Uh, so a lot of familiar faces and uh, yeah, really excited to be back home uh, and uh, playing around with some great products, uh, oysters and seafood and you know, back to my roots here in Virginia. That's right. And so you started your uh, culinary career in Williamsburg, actually. I did. I did. I went through the apprenticeship program over at Colonial Williamsburg. Um, I was the first one to graduate uh, once it got uh, reinvigorated uh, through the American Culinary Federation. Uh, spent quite a bit of time in Williamsburg. I uh, had a chance to meet and work for my mentor, uh, Chef Lon Schadler. Uh, helped him open up two restaurants in Williamsburg. The last one, which is still open, uh, Waypoint Seafood and Grill. Uh, so uh, then I was able to uh, to uh, venture out and uh, and make my way down here to Virginia Beach. Very good. So now you are shucking some oysters. We see that beautiful raw bar in the back here. Uh, this these both restaurants, although you have a great um, uh, uh, steak product too, you have a big focus on seafood at both properties, right? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, we spend a lot of time and a lot of effort uh, forming relationships with all of our providers, whether it be the freshest seafood we can get our hands on uh, or to the freshest produce we can. Uh, looking forward to uh, what we like to call here a uh, dock to table uh, yeah. concept. So, uh, you know, building those relationships with uh, our seafood providers. Uh, as well as the uh, as well as our farmers is, is a big part of who we are and, and who, where we want to go as a property. And and it's not just see it's not just watermen and farmers, but it's local watermen and farmers also that y'all really focus on. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, ever since uh, ever since I came back, we were also able to introduce uh, some local species to our fresh catch menu, which changes daily. Um, we've had uh, some great puppy drum on the menu. We had some tog tog on the menu, uh, as well as some sheep's head. Uh, so uh, the Chesapeake Bay Blue Catfish is also another constant frequent flyer on our uh, on our fish list. So we really want to uh, embrace uh, that partnership, you know, with the local watermen because we feel that uh, not only is it you know trying to secure the best and the freshest uh, product that we can, um, but stimulating the local economy. You know, yeah. I, mean, I feel like that's uh, our responsibility as culinarians to, to to share that with them. Well, so tell us about the beautiful, these beautiful oysters that we're looking at here. Well, again, you know, working on the on the local seafood seafood approach, uh, we do try to feature as many local oysters as we can. We normally keep anywhere from five to seven uh, different varieties of oysters on the menu. Uh, currently, the ones that I'm shucking right now, um, we've got uh, are actually all from the Chesapeake Bay area. Um, these little small guys are our chop tank sweets, uh, which come from the Chop Tank River up on the uh, Maryland side of the Eastern Shore. Uh, we also have some Sawatsakots, which is this guy right here. Um, those are uh, from the Eastern Shore as well on the Bay side. Uh, we've got some uh, York River oysters, which actually, believe it or not, come from the York River. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got some uh, of our local, really, really local favorites, our Lynn Havens. Oh, the Lynn Havens, yes. So, well, so, so step, take us a step through here. You know, most folks sure. either buy the oysters, you know, at a restaurant already shucked or or sometimes folks will shut them for them, but if somebody wanted to do that, kind of walk us through and tell, show us what you're doing. Absolutely. Here. Well, there's two different types of shuckers. There's people that go in through the bill. We call them bill shuckers, uh -huh. uh, and then we got the hinge shuckers, which is what I tend to normally do. Um, so what I do is with my knife, uh, my knife has got a little bit of a point on it and a little bit of a hook. So I try to just wiggle that guy in there and find that seal to that hinge, and then it's I call it turning the car key. So you turn yeah. the car key, uh -huh. pop the top part of the shell, and then I always wipe my knife, and then use my knife to come right across the top of the shell to break uh, the first foot, uh -huh. and then always got to go underneath, get the other one, yeah. and then uh, a lot of times what I'll do is we'll flip them over just like that, uh, and make sure that everybody knows that they're ready to go. Yeah, very good. So, so do you have a favorite oyster? 
Um, I do. I'm kind of partial to the York Rivers. Um, yeah. I grew up off the York River uh, in a little town, uh, West Point, uh, right on the edge of New Kent County. So uh, I fished that river as a kid uh, and, uh, and pretty much know all up and down that river. So uh, Tommy Leggett is also a dear friend of mine. Uh, so uh, we were able to get his oysters down here to the beach and I still believe we're the only uh, only property down here in the beach that, that serves as oyster. It's a, it's a great oyster. It's got a great contrast of salt. Uh, to the butteriness, and it's always a firm, plump, plump oyster. And the thing that I always look for is a uh, is a good deep cup. I mean, you can see the cup on that oyster. So you know, when you go to when you actually see the oyster in full, uh, it's a full solid oyster. Mm -hmm. Don't mind if I do. Well, <laughs> Chef, Chef Kyle, thank you so much Absolutely. for spending time with us, and cheers. Cheers.